Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an SQL login and registration database where basically what happens is when you click the button and you have all your information filled out, it sends the information to an SQL database so that it uh, reads it and you no longer have to worry about uh, it manually adding if statements to check to see if the password is correct. So let's get started here. Um, I've already created my project and I've set up the database, but I'll show you how I did that real fast. Um, you go over to Solution Explorer, and under your uh, project, you're going to want to hit Add New Item, and scroll down and find the Service Based Database, and then hit Add. I'm, I don't need to add it. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to come up here and hit Add New Data Source, and then fill uh, follow that through. Now. I've already set up my form also to save time. Uh, last time I did this, I was running 11 minutes and I still wasn't done coding. So I created two labels, one called username and one called password, and then two text boxes, and then one button. Now, we're, I'm going to go and double click under the button, and I added the using statements using system.data.sql and using system.data.sql client. Now, if I go back into my button, uh, button block. I'm gonna want to type SQL connection, or sorry, string uh, connection is equal to uh, at. Uh, sorry about this. Um, to find your uh, SQL connection, you're gonna want to go to the configure button. If you already have a setup, if you don't, I'll show you. Right here, there's a connection string, and you just need to highlight that and hit copy. And I'm going to hit cancel, and then hit paste, and put it in quotations. Like that. And then hit at, the at sign, and close it off with a semicolon. Now, that basically holds our connection string, so that we can, um, we can add it into this block. So, SQL connection... Connect or CN is equal to new SQL connection open parentheses quote or er, uh, connection close parentheses semicolon and then you're gonna want to hit enter try enter uh, curly brackets enter close curly brackets and then enter again catch enter open curly brackets enter close curly brackets and then go back up to try and you're going to want to type uh, cn dot open is open parentheses close parentheses semicolon now you can add a message box saying that it's open to make sure that everything's working correct if you compile it i wouldn't add that in because then it just tells a user a useless message box which is waste of time now, under the catch, you're going to want to do open parentheses, exception, close parentheses, and then in the curly brackets, you're going to want to type message box dot show, open parentheses, open quotations, did not connect. Now, rarely will you see that as long as you're following my tutorial. Now, in here, you're going to want to type string username is equal to text box one dot text semicolon and then string password is equal to text box two dot text semicolon and then string or sorry this one I'm gonna copy and paste just because it's got a lot of weird symbols such as single quotes double quotes but I'll tell you exactly what it says it says string SQL query equals open parentheses open quotations uh, capital S E L E C T, the multiplication sign, which is uh, shift eight, uh, capital F R O M, capital U, lowercase s e r. That is basically my uh, table that I have set up. If I come into my database and look at my tables, I have the table user, and then you're going to want to type capital W H E R E, space capital U. Uh, lowercase s e r n a m e, which is username, it's going to look in this this uh, column equals single quote double quote 
plus text box one dot text plus sign double quote single quote double quote close parentheses semicolon as you can see that would have been really annoying to remember how to type that out so i figured yeah i'll just go and uh copy and paste and tell you what it says now i also have another one copy and pasted and this is going to be sql query equals double quotes insert capital insert capital into brackets user close brackets open parentheses username comma password close parentheses values make sure it's in all caps open parentheses single quote double quote plus text box one dot text plus double quote single quote comma single quote double quote plus text box two dot text plus double quote single quote open or close parentheses double quote uh, semicolon and then hit enter now down here we're gonna want to do SQL command and then command is equal to SQL new SQL command open parentheses uh, quotations and this is gonna be SQL or sorry no parentheses SQL query comma uh, it's gonna be CN close parentheses semicolon and then hit enter and it's gonna be command dot parameters dot add or sorry dot add open parentheses quotations sorry open parentheses quotations username username close quotations comma username open parentheses semicolon and command dot parameters dot add open parentheses quotations password comma password open parentheses quotation or uh, semicolon sorry and then command dot clear Oh, sorry, dot parameters, dot clear, open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to co uh, copy and paste this into the form.load so it automatically loads. It has to stay in the button for uh, the command to work right here, but we can run this and it'll connect on the form load and then vadlac cheese or whatever you want it to be, makeup names, hit the button, and then close it down. And then if we go into our user, right click, show data, ta table data, sorry, and it adds it. Uh, it'll, it'll add it for um, when we do our, uh, our login, which is the second part of the tutorial. So thank you for watching. My website is www.computertutorials.ismywebsite.com. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, check out my other videos. Thanks.